Hi everybody, welcome to ePractice Manager's weekly insight designed to help unburden doctors from management problems and give office managers and staff proven tools for a smoother running and more productive practice. Now we often assume that people understand what we're saying. And when their actions demonstrate that they don't actually understand us, it can be very frustrating. This applies to staff instructions, treatment presentation, and frankly, most of the communication we deliver to people. You can explain a patient's condition to them, why it's happened, why they need it, but you won't know if they're really getting it unless they're giving you feedback. That's why getting a patient to open up and talk to you is so important. So, how do you quickly establish if what you've said is understood? All right, here's an example. An office manager wants to institute a new policy regarding time off requests. Office manager hands out the policy to everyone at the staff meeting and has them read it over. Now, the wrong thing to do is to ask the group if anyone have any questions? Trust me, you won't get much of a response. People are reluctant to admit they're confused or don't understand something. Instead, you should ask situational questions that can't be answered with a yes or a no. These are called open-ended questions. Here's a couple of examples that the office manager should ask. Now, what's the first thing you would do if you want to have time off in March? Or how would you submit your request for time off? Or how much lead time should you allow for requesting time off? These simple questions can't be answered with a yes or no, and they'll get people communicating about how they're going to implement the new policy. The exact same principle applies when you're discussing treatment with patients. Explain the treatment and the consequences of opting out, for example, and then get them to give you their thoughts about it by asking open-ended questions like, how do you feel this might help you? Why should you do this now? Or how do you think this might affect you if you hold off on treatment? Remember, you have to avoid asking yes or no questions. Your goal is to get them thinking about the issue, communicating about it, and airing their concerns. Feedback is gonna let you know if you're being heard, and more importantly, if you're being understood, okay? Now, if you're an e-practice manager, subscriber, or client, you're likely already doing this. Keep it up. For those of you who'd like to implement this and other effective tools, go to epracticemanager.com forward slash consulting services and schedule a free consultation with us. Hope to see you soon.